Hi, I'm Carrie Kirkham, and you're Sipping with the Wine Fox. With me today is Carpene Melvolte Prosecco Superiore Extra Dry. And today, uh, officially, hell has frozen over because I found a Prosecco that I really like rather a lot. Um, I'm shocked, which is the reason why this bottle is so small, because my sales rep from Siena Imports gave me this as a sample. And I said, just just give me a little bottle, because chances are, you know, I, I'm not going to like it. I just want to know what it tastes like. I'm not going to really drink it. I just want to taste it. Well, I'm tasting it. I'm sipping it. I'm drinking it. And I'm really enjoying it a lot. And the fact that I had a prejudice against Prosecco tells me that I still have much to learn, and I really need to focus more carefully on Prosecco as a category. And I think that comes from the fact that most of the Proseccos I've had have been just um, DOC Proseccos. So they're from a wider region. They're not as tightly regulated. This is from a region which is a DOCG. Um, it's called the um, Conegliano Valdo Biadene. Valdo Biadene. I have to keep saying that. <laughs> And it's a region where the grapes grow on steep hillsides, and it's more tightly regulated, so it's a DOCG. And uh, the wine, to me, tastes much more concentrated, um, more concentrated flavor, and it's more focused uh, and, and a bit more serious. Like, this is serious bubbles. And bubbles, it's my favorite category. I love sparkling wine. It's what really makes my heart move. So... This is 100% Glera, um, Charmat method, of course, 11% uh, ABV, and uh, 15 to 16 grams per liter of residual sugar. So it is slightly sweet, um, so it's extra dry. Extra dry is always going to be sweeter than brute. You sort of have to think backwards in that regard. Um, really nice nose, fresh nose. I get fresh pear. I get um, kind of like a stones quality, like a wet stones, and um, like a juicy apricot. I don't get any of that cloying white flowers or anything sugary. It, it just smells very fresh and alive and inviting. Um, and the bubbles aren't huge and fat. They're um, a slow, steady stream of fine bubbles, so it's not just fizzy, roiling floral insipid bubbles. This is very graceful Prosecco. On the palate, I get um, fresh, ripe, juicy apricot. I get really good acidity, a little bit of lemon on the edge, and um, kind of like a caramel note, like um, a fine honeyed caramel. Like honey, yeah, it's just, it's it's a little sweet, but not too sweet. Again, it's mitigated by beautiful acidity and fine bubbles. Really very nice, balanced, beautiful. Um, so the winery Carpene Malvolte was founded in 1868 by Antonio Carpene, who was a well-known Italian scientist and viticulturalist. And he's known for being a pioneer of Prosecco and also the Charmat method. He is known for refining um, the method of fermenting sparkling wine in tank. And as a matter of fact, Carpene Malvolti was the first to label their sparkling wine as Prosecco in 1924. So interesting to try pretty much where Prosecco all began. And I think that this would this is going to be a new standard for me to judge all other Proseccos. It's quite good. So the importer is Sienna Imports. And so I really want to give a shout out and a hat tip to John Bacho, my sales rep, for completely blowing my mind and opening up a whole new world of Prosecco to me and for teaching me that, yes, I indeed have a lot to learn. And to that... I say cheers and carpe uva.